Ciao, I'm Chiara from Perfile Segno and welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to crochet this beautiful poncho with top-down technique. This super easy crochet project is perfect for any beginners that are new to crocheting. For this project I use 3 skins of Dolomiti from Mondial and 5.5mm hook. You can find more information about this yarn in the description box. Then I use a set of marker, I use this from Prim and to create the nice border I use the Furry Yarn Cocola from Mondial 2. So first chain 76. 76 chains to have a length about uh, 48 centimeters. Now we do one double crochet into the fourth chain from hook. So one, two, three and four, insert your hook, then do one double crochet. So now we have two double crochets, chain three, then one double crochet. So now we do one double crochet into the next 10 chains. So we start with a total of 12 double crochet. So now chain two, then we do one double crochet into the following 14 chains. Fourteen double crochets and now chain two. And now we do one double crochet into the next twenty four chains. So now chain two, then we do one double crochet into the next 14 chains. Chain two. And now we do one double crochet into the next 12 chains. Okay, now we are going to increase uh, into this uh, chain to space. So I suggest you place a marker into each of the this space, uh, the chain to space. Mm -hmm. 
Before proceeding, I want to join the two ends together using a slip stitch. So insert your hook into the third chain, then do a slip stitch to join the two hands together. And of course, now we are going to work in round. So insert your hook into the third chain here, then do a slip stitch. And now chain one, do not count as a stitch, then we do one double crochet into each stitch until we will reach the first marker, the first chain to space. Now we're going to work in round, so I suggest to place a marker into the very first double crochet. So place another marker here, chain one do not count as a stitch. And now we're going to uh, do an increase, so I uh, remove the marker, then I do one double crochet, chain two, then one double crochet all in the same space. This is the first increase. And now we do one double crochet into the next stitches until we will reach the next chain to space, the next marker. Of course, uh, you can place uh, a marker into the new chain to space uh, of uh, uh, this row. So place the marker here. And now remove the marker, then do an increase. So we do one double crochet, chain two, then one double crochet into the same space. Place the marker again. Then we do one double crochet into the next stitches until we will reach the next chain to space. Remove the marker, then we do one double crochet, chain two, then one double crochet into the chain to space of the previous row. This is the increase. Place the marker again. And now we do one double crochet into the next stitches. Remove the marker once again, then do another increase into the chain one into the chain two space. So we do one double crochet, chain two, then one double crochet. And of course, place the marker again. And now we do one double crochet into the next stitches until we will reach the first double crochet. So 
So now remove the blue marker and join with the slip stitch into the first double crochet. So all we have to do now is to continue to do one double crochet into each stitch all the way around and increase into uh, each uh, chain to space um, as we did before. So now chain one do not count as a stitch and now pay attention it's very important to turn every round your work otherwise uh, you will get not straight line like this. So chain one turn the work then we do one double crochet into uh, the next stitches. I suggest to place the marker into the first double crochet and we continue to do one double crochet until we will reach the first marker, the first chain to space. It's not so important to count the stitches, just work one double crochet into each of these. So now remove the marker, then do an increase into this uh, chain to space of the previous row. So we do one double crochet, chain two, then one double crochet, all in the same space. Place the marker again, then do one double crochet into the next stitches until we will reach the next chain to space. And of course remove the marker, then we do an increase, so we do one double crochet, chain two, then one double crochet more into the same space. And of course place the marker again into this new chain two space and we continue to do one double crochet into the next stitches until we will reach the next marker. Remove the marker, then do an increase. One double crochet, chain two, then one double crochet. So place the marker again and continue to do one double crochet into the next stitches. Remove the marker, do an increase, so we do one double crochet, chain two, then one double crochet. Place the marker again, then we do one double crochet into the next stitches. And of course, uh, remove the blue marker, then join with the slip stitch into the first uh, double crochet. So all we have to do now is to repeat this last round uh, for a total of uh, 42 rounds. Uh, so remember, chain one, do not count as a stitch and very important, do uh, turn the work Turn the work every round to have a nice straight line. So chain one, turn the work, then we do one double crochet into the next stitches until we will reach the next marker. And of course, uh, 
we remove the marker then we do an increase into this space here so we do one double crochet chain two then one double crochet place the marker again into this new chain two space and we continue to do one double crochet into the next stitches So all we have to do now is to continue to repeat this until you will reach the desired length. So remember to place the marker into the first double crochet and remember to place the marker into each of uh, uh, chain two space uh, all the way around. Remember to turn the work every round to have a nice line and uh, I will continue to do a total of uh, 42 rounds. Of course, we join with a slip stitch into the first double crochet. Now we are ready to cut the yarn and then we will weave the tails inside the work using a tapestry needle. So now I've done a total of 42 rounds and now my poncho is about 50 centimeters in this center and 58 centimeters in the diagonal part. And now we are going to create a furry edge and to do this uh, grab the furry yarn coccola from Mondial and I use the same um, uh, size of hook so grab the 5.5 millimeters hook and all we have to do now is to do um, one half double crochet all the way around into each uh, uh, stitch into the space between the stitches. So insert your hook into one uh, between one of these stitch here. Insert the yarn. Now, now we do one half double crochet into each space between the double crochet of the previous row. And join with the slip stitch into the first half double crochet and now we are ready to cut the yarn. And now do the same in the bottom part. So insert your hook between the stitches, between the double crochet insert the yarn then we do one half double crochet into each space between the stitches all the way around Do one half double crochet into uh, each of chain two space and we continue to do this all the way around. So now let me show you the finished Dolomiti poncho. As you can see, if uh, we work in every stitch, uh, we will have a wavy effect. If you don't like this effect, uh, skip a stitch or two, uh, then make one half double crochet. I really love uh, the beautiful uh, heart toned colors uh, used in this poncho and uh, it, I think it's perfect for autumn. The best part is that because uh, of the repeated design this crochet partner really doesn't take uh, that long for you to work up. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Let me know in the comments down below. Remember to tag me on Instagram or Facebook if you create your Poncho Dolomiti top down. I will leave all the links that you need in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on bell icon to get notifications. So thank you for watching and I see you in the next video. Ciao and tanto love.